Hi guys, Elmer, your fire protection guy. Today, we're going to teach you how to test a hydrant system here in Australia. Right now, I'm in Sydney, so most of my testing procedures are based on what I do here in Sydney. So let's start. This is your typical hydrant installation. We have the diesel engine, the jocking pump, we have all those gauges, we have the hydrant controller, the batteries in that corner, and we're going to start procedure by checking first the following. First, do you have water in your town's main? That will be your uh, suction pressure. That is your discharge pressure. So that's also an installation pressure. This is your jacking pump. And is this Two, this is your cooling system for the engine. Are they, this one is on, that one is on, and these two are off. That is the bypass. Okay, so this only activates, that's the solenoid. It only activates if the pump is running. Next one, we're going to check for water. All right, check the water, the coolant. Check the engine oil, all right. There's a dipstick somewhere there, okay? And then check the surrounding if there is no oil coming out or whatever, okay? So it's something abnormal on the site. And then check your controller as well, okay? So fuel right now is 83%. Also, you can have best is to or visualize, open that and then check physically what is the a level of your diesel fuel. All right, so how we do start it, let's begin. Before you start testing the hydrant diesel, some hydrant diesel, when you run it, right, when you start that, it's connected to the fire system of the building. There is a fire indicating panel, it might be connected. Yet, it is, for example, it is connected. Don't worry about it, it will not call the fire brigade. It's only an indication in the fire panel. Once this engine runs, the fire panel will indicate that showing a hydrant diesel running. If there is a fault on the system, that means it's also monitored. If there's a fault in the, in the system, it's also said hydrant pump fault. One of the common fault is when you switch off the hydrant diesel and there's no power in that controller, you're going to have a fault. All right, so what do we need? First, you need an earmuffs, all right? Make sure you have earmuffs. Normally, I have a bag of tools. This bag of tools, I have earmuffs, I have gas masks, and I have I, I get, uh, safety glasses that I normally wear when I'm doing my testing. Okay, so in the system, you always look first for the test valve. In this case, the test valve is here, it's hidden. Right? You're going to drop the pressure. You're going to test one is automatic mode, the second one is manual mode. So when I drop the pressure, I'm doing an automatic mode. If I test that, pressing that button there, this is manual start, all right? You are doing a manual mode, okay? Now, first, you're going to test the jacking pump. I drop the pressure, put the pressure there. The jumping pump run is running now it's off the second thing you have to do you can leave the jumping pump on all right or you can turn it off because there's no use you want now the engine to run all right i'm going to put my earmuffs first now i got my earmuffs normally you are going to test every month the hydrant engine for 10 minutes after you test it on automatic uh, for 10, 10 minutes, you have to test that also on a manual mode, just pressing that start button there. Okay, I already completed my test. I'm just showing it to you for purposes of just showing it to you, all right? Okay, now I'm going to turn off now the jacking pump. All right, now this pump is off. I will drop the pressure and then the engine will kick. And then immediately, I'm going to switch that off using that red button there in the hydrant controller. All right, let's start. Dropping the pressure. It's 
You're going to take the pressure reading here in the gate. That is your starting pressure. Also, before I run the engine, you also get the details in the suction, the suction, the discharge pressure, and the fuel level, as well as the runtime of the engine. Okay. Also the air oil pressure. Okay, I'll drop the pressure. While it is running, you must be here and observe if there's any problem or abnormality that normally you don't observe. All right, you're going to check for the discharge pressure, the suction pressure, okay? So after 10 minutes, you shut the, the engine, and then don't forget, this is the most common mistake. You always forgot the jacking pump to switch on. This time, you're going to switch it on. All right. Once I switch it, switch it on because the jacking pump, the pressure switch of the jacking pump is okay. It runs and then it stops. All right. That's a good test. Normally I drop the pressure because the pressure is too high for me. I normally drop it a little bit like a 20 kPa less because normally if it's summer, the installation pressure went up. All right. Now. Let's look at the controller. Okay. Now during the test, you also have a logbook to fill up. You have to fill up the starting pressure, the suction pressure, the discharge, the batteries, uh, the jacking pump cut in cut out pressure. So this is the typical uh, logbook for hydrogen diesel engine. All right. So when you finish for 10 minutes, when you completed all your tests, just sign it off and then that's it. So I have completed my hydrant test, but you must be aware that different building sites have different procedures. You have also different types of hydrant diesel and hydrant pump controllers. So it's not that what you're doing here is not true with the other buildings. So you must be aware because there are buildings that you cannot do your test after 8 o'clock in the morning, you can only do the test around 6 o'clock in the morning, especially those with offices. In this case, this is a residential area, a residential building. I can do my test after 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. This is Elmer, your fire protection guy. See you next time.